Hey guys. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can onboard your Windows devices from Active Directory so that you can start managing them using our PAN360 solution. So under Resources tab, you will find this Discover Resources option, and you will find the Windows option in the left pane. If you have already onboarded users from Active Directory, then you will find this domain name and primary domain controller values already pre-populated. If not, you can select new domain, supply the net bias name of your domain name in uppercase. You don't need to specify the fully qualified name here, and you can just click add, and it will add your domain name at the top. And then you can supply your primary domain controller, and optionally, you can also specify a secondary domain controller value. And um, to import users, you can either manually supply a login account, and a password, or you can uh, use an account stored inside PAM if you have already added a username and password, or especially if you have created a service account for PAM, then you will be able to choose that from here. And uh, at the bottom, you will find the synchronization interval option. So it is recommended to have this setting enabled for any time more than three hours, considering that. PAM is going to synchronize against multiple groups and OUs and also uh, pull the endpoints. It's recommended to have the interval set at three hours or more. And unless you're importing a single machine or a group, you don't have to manually supply any of the values in these fields. So you can just leave them blank and select this fetch groups and OUs button. Now, this will make PAM enumerate your Active Directory key structure. So you will find the list of groups and list of organizational units from your Active Directory. So uh, let's say you have all of your servers um, added into a particular OU called Windows Servers. You can just select the OU name and hit import. The important point to note here is that as far as PAM360 is concerned, every group and every OU is an individual entity. Now it does not, um, uh, support inheritance uh, during this import. So if you would like to import only one particular OU or a sub OU, you need to select just that. And if you hit import, in this case, it's going to import all the uh, Windows machines present in the main OU and also the sub OU. But if you choose any one main OU, which has a lot of multiple sub OUs, for example, and there is, let's say, there is no um, machines present inside the OU directly, then it will ignore the sub OU. So if you only select the main OU, it will ignore any sub OUs present underneath unless it is explicitly selected like this. So just remember to choose all the sub OUs that you would like to onboard. And it is also recommended to have uh, dedicated groups or OUs created particularly for, for PAM so that it will be easy for management, especially if you have a large active directory with too many groups and OUs uh, with too many differentiation, you could create new groups or you can also onboard existing groups. So you can search for a, a particular group uh, and then you can just select that group and hit import. And this will basically onboard all your Windows servers from Active Directory, and you will find them listed under the Resources tab. Now, when you do this discovery, AM360 is actually importing Windows machines with their local accounts. So for example, if you select any particular Windows machine, you will actually be able to see all the local accounts identified in that machine, regardless of what uh, roles it has or what permissions it has. We just import all of those local accounts from all of the machines. And while we are doing this import by querying each Windows machine through WMI, we also check if there are any service accounts running in those machines. So if you have a domain account running a particular service or a scheduled task, you will find those accounts discovered and added inside this Windows domain resource. So uh, for um, Windows accounts, as you can see, inside PAM360, you have two different type of resources. One is Windows, and this represents all of your Windows servers, workstations, laptops, desktops, etc. 
And this Windows domain resource denotes your domain controller. So all type of domain accounts and service accounts will be residing under this single domain resource. And all the Windows resources will only have local accounts listed underneath them. 